Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. This is Milwaukee's new M12 high output XC 5.0 battery. Today we're going to take it apart to see what's inside, explain what makes it for sure an improvement, and test it versus the XC 6.0 it would be trying to replace, and a custom spicy little battery pack a viewer literally bet us would take the top spot from these others today. Premiering at the Pipeline event this year, this is the first time Milwaukee has introduced high output batteries in their 12 volt line and boy have people been wanting to see them ever since. High Output is a moniker the Red brand slapped onto their new line of M18 batteries a few years back now, and they are one of the first major brands to take advantage of an up-and-coming cell size that Tesla also uses, the 21700, a cell that's now well-renowned for bringing the beans in large part because of that massive peak discharge rate that Samsung in particular has achieved with these things. Now I've made it no mystery in the past that I never expected to see Milwaukee make high output M12 batteries because plainly the increased diameter of 21 millimeters per cell means the triangle of cells would no longer fit in the handle of M12 tools. And yet, here we are. So are they bending physics? Well, no. Inside you'll find traditional 18650 size cells like you'd find in most battery packs. 2500 milliamp hours each or a total of 5 amp hours, which is a little disappointing if I'm honest, but these are as it turns out Samsung 25S cells, Samsung's latest hotness in 18650s which have a discharge rate in this type of application of 25 amps. If you pop open a new XC 6.0 we're going to be testing it against, it looks to have Samsung 30Q cells which are rated for a lower 15 amps. 3,000 milliamp hours each, 6 amp hours total, though 30Qs in particular are known for holding their own. Now along with these cell changes, Milwaukee says this is good for 25% extra power. You also get changes to the materials used to make this battery, and we'll dive into those and what it means for you and if it's going to solve their dreaded batteries falling out issue by the end of this episode, but for now we want to know about those beans. And it seems we were not the only ones who were left wanting upon learning this high output would be utilizing. 18650 cells. A viewer by the name of Garrett not only sent us this one, but wagered it would win. That wager being us sending him a link to our lifetime of tool rankings versus him adding it to cart and checking out. And his confidence probably comes from the fact that he did shoehorn 21700 cells in here. Obviously you can't fit three in the handle size as we mentioned earlier and even two side by side wouldn't work. So that leaves this solo soldier up top with some hose to act as a buffer and just two in the base but some thick nickel plating and a pulse spot welder and you still got a very usable 4 amp hour battery with Samsung 40T 21700 cells behind it now. Alright, first up we have the new high output taking on the XC 6.0 in our 5 second working torque test. Both make 137 foot pounds. Now we experience this in real life as samesies because we put the 6.0 on there first to double check things out and they make the same number, but you can see some increase on the curve, certainly not 25% yet. Let's see the 21700 cell clown car of a battery. One hundred and fifty two the high output coming out a bit sooner and cleaner than this one, but the twenty one seven hundred cell pack putting up a bigger number. Though I will say the high output banged out pretty much the same number every single test. And the DIY pack made from an imitation battery, well let's see our next test, it will illuminate things for you. For your reference, here's the XC 6.0 in our best case scenario test versus a simple two amp hour pack that's admittedly miles more compact on a tool. Two hundred fifty-one over one ninety-three. That's a massive difference. Not one we'd normally see with just a battery change on most cordless tools. All right, here's that same six point zero run versus the new high output. over 246. This is another one where we experienced the new battery as a lower performance, 
until spitting out numbers for the curve. Technically, from what we can measure, the high output made more, 191 versus 187 foot-pounds per second average across the run. But I mean, the X.0 taking the peak figure here at the end is a bit awkward considering that 25% greater performance we were reading about. All right, last up is the 21700 cell DIY pack. Let's see it. Two hundred and sixty three with a rather shaky line to get there too. I mean, you gotta hand it to Garrett. A win's a win. Enjoy the rank list, my dude. So theoretically, one of the tricks to pull this kind of thing off would be using an imitation Milwaukee battery to begin with, as the board on that one is a bit less fussy about what you're swapping in there. The BMS may be not doing its due diligence to throttle and regulate the current and protect the cells from damage like an OEM Milwaukee battery would be doing, resulting in this kind of curve and also some of the most all over the place consistency we've seen in a battery performance. This is a best case test, but it was not uncommon to see this battery just below the others or about the same on the curve in some tests. We've seen this sort of phenomenon before when slapping a DeWalt battery that doesn't feature this type of regulation because the DeWalt tools themselves do onto a Ryobi impact here. It can have a juicing effect with all the traditional side effects of roiding out an impact wrench might have over time as well. But the 25S cells in the new high output battery are objectively better. They can supply more current when asked to in a sudden spike of draw. But what this data shows is simply, at least on M12 tools, which tend to be on the smaller side, the tool may not be requesting more than it already is able to get from an XC 6.0 or XC 4.0, unless you sort of break the rules with an abomination. I'd say maybe look to other tests with more direct driven tools with attached output shafts that you might see like a M12 circular saw, maybe that will yield a bigger difference when it comes to heat as well. But while bringing the beans is cool, that's not all you're getting for the extra coin this one costs. Upon taking these apart, the XC 6.0 is clearly marked with PC plus ABS FR or ABS with polycarbonate, which ABS in name, not really tailored for using around harsh chemicals and oils. It's cheaper to produce than straight polycarbonate like Makita battery packs and is often used for car interior plastics and panels. The new high output on the other hand says PC plus GF20FR, which is polycarbonate plus gas fiber filled 20%, so no ABS, and then that flame retardant classification. So impact protection, chemical resistance, and heat protection. That glass fiber reinforced composite feels less compliant too, so it got us wondering might it solve the old M12 battery dropping out of your tool issue that many of you are familiar with. So we measured the tabs on new batteries before and after cycling it 100 times in and out of M12 tools. A new XC 6.0 measures at 46.47 millimeters to begin with at the tabs, and after 100 cycles that squeezed down to 46.17 or a loss of 0.3 millimeters in width holding that battery in. The high output went from 46.9 to 46.8, a 0.1 millimeter loss, one third as much, and finishing wider at the tabs than the XC 6.0 started, that's likely from being a stiffer material. So for me, that's the real takeaway, if this holds true over time. Is this new battery a powerhouse? Well, not really from what we can tell, or at least the tools aren't asking for it to be. So at least the tools that we use the most, it offers the best benefit in the form of oil and chemical resistance compared to past ones that have been lacking this due to that ABS composition. And so it A, prevents the battery lock tabs from breaking off in general, and B, allows them to stay nice and clicky onto your tools much longer than current designs, which I feel has been the number one request for these things even above them making more power. Appreciate you joining us on this one. Click subscribe to catch stuff like this at least every Friday and some bonus days like this one. Thanks for watching.